Jason, the Cavs clearly have abandonment issues. It happened once. Can it happen again? Will it happen again? I actually think it will, Holly. I believe if the Cavs do not win the championship this year, LeBron will bounce. They have done some great moves at the deadline here. They've got a lot better, but this is as good as they can get. They cannot go into the offseason and do much with the exception of maybe trading that, uh, that Brooklyn Nets pick plus Kevin Love for something. That's the best they can hope for. But otherwise, this is what LeBron's going to be stuck with for the next two years. Is George Hill, Clarkson, Nance, is that really the core that's going to get him over the top? Or does LeBron say, man, I'd love to be playing next to Paul George. He could guard Kevin Durant in crunch time. I can kind of coast on the Lakers. And I believe with the young Lakers core, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, really young, cheap, cheap is the key word, players, you can build a better roster in L.A. next year than what the Cavs have this year because they can't get much better, Chris. What about the elephant in the room? LeVar Ball. You think LeBron wants to deal with that? I think that's a, a bridge that he will cross <laughs> when it's time. No, I don't no, think I he's going to wait. I, think, I, I don't think he – look, I don't know with 100% certainty that he would not go there because of LeVar, but I know it would be a strong deterrent. And I don't think LeBron would go there just like Magic did. I don't think LeBron would make the same mistake as Magic of saying, I can go there and handle it. I think he would probably handle it before he went there. Let me add this, and I don't want to come off like I'm defending LeVar Ball at all, but when he was at UCLA with his son last year, and they were rolling, winning 30 games, nothing, nothing out of LeVar Ball. Nothing about the UCLA team. When, Except when, that he was better than Steph Curry. Well, that's NBA, but with no, at no. UCLA. And then, and then when they lost when they lost in the well, tournament, that's they couldn't right. win because Rob, of why they played. Listen to what you said. Listen so when things said. are good, LeVar Ball, everything's cool, we're winning, all right, no problem. Now, when things go sideways, yes, I'll blame the what he's slow-footed white guys on UCLA. Is that what he said? So if you add LeBron, but his son got his son got ran out the gym and they only did no game. question. But Rob, right? Rob, the only, he, the only the reason point. why I would counter that is because Lavar, I mean Lonzo was the center of attention with all that winning. That's right. That's fair. Yeah, he would and not be the center of attention. He would not be the center. But if the you Lakers bring in will LeBron and Paul George, I still have Brandon Ingram. I mean, LeVar, uh, Lonzo would barely be starting on that team. And I don't need a Lonzo ball if I have LeBron James. Who's got the basketball. I, exactly. I need a point guard that can really shoot it when LeBron and, and kicks Imagine if the, the Cavaliers said that. We got Kyrie Irving. We don't need LeBron James. We got a point guard. No. No, you Kyrie, can get Irving, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving can shoot. Him. Right. Kyrie Irving can shoot. Well, well, no, I, of course Lonzo. if I can get Le- LeBron James. But I want, what I want next to LeBron James is a point guard who can shoot the basketball and be effective without it. Kyrie was great with the ball, yeah. but he also was great without the yeah. ball. And and you're poo-pooing Cleveland. Like not, what, what if they what if they go to the finals and play Golden State tough and lose in a competitive six game series? And, and win. You said they can't improve. Oh, really? They have the Brooklyn pick. Mm-hmm. They could get the top seven, maybe it's a top five pick. Then you're adding a potential star. A 20 you or forgot. To, you mentioned guy. Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance, and George Hill as the core. That's not the core. The core is LeBron James, a perennial All Star, and Kevin Love. Then those role players, Rodney Hood is Rodney a very Hood's good player. Rodney Hood's going to cost him $12 million a year. Fine. Are they what if Rodney Hood's putting up 12 points a game in the playoffs? You paying $12 million a year for Rodney well, Hood? If Dan Gilbert? Up, if he's putting well, up 12 I love how you just want to spend Dan Gilbert's money. This is the, the story on ESPN. Oh, LeBron oh, wants to spend your, his money. Yeah, LeBron. LeBron certainly and will. LeBron said you, if, because LeBron brings over $500 million of value to that city economically. So he's saying spend the money. And Dan Gilbert paid about $350 million for the he's cash. Fine. He's he going to be sell fine. them for exactly. over $1.5 billion. billion. Right. So come on, like, that's where LeBron wants him to spend. And to Dan Gilbert's credit, he has spent the money. You got to give him credit. Right, exactly. Right. After, that's what you want from an owner. Just be willing to pay. And he has done that. So I'm not saying, I don't know if LeBron's staying or not, but I'm saying the chances of him staying now are better after these trades than they were before. I, I agree. And I think that the options are limited because he's not going somewhere to build something from scratch. He doesn't have that many years. Yep. He's not trying to go somewhere with some young kids and say, oh, maybe three years from now I'll have a chance to win. He's only got three or four years left. It's got to be add water, stir, and and win a championship. That's what he's trying to get to. So the Lakers aren't that attractive 
if if it's not with uh, uh, Paul George, Paul George if, if he comes here with, with the kids trying to get them in shape to try to win a championship. So Cleveland and coming out west, do you really want to come out west and not make it to the finals because the road is too tough? Or do you stay in the east, Cleveland point. or Philadelphia, right? You still yeah. get to the NBA finals. You go to Philadelphia with a couple of young star players, right? Wait, wait. That's not yeah, that far away. Are you discounting away. Toronto and Boston? Yes, I'm discounting <laughs> Toronto and Boston. I've seen that movie. <laughs> Toronto with the exchange rate in the playoffs. They never win. <laughs> You gotta, right? Oh, and, and, and Boston, they're not ready yet. As much as I like Kyrie, they're not, they're not ready. They're not there yet. So that's why I think his, his options are limited. And everybody has him going everywhere. There's only two or three spots. And guess what? Cleveland is still a good spot yeah. for LeBron with James. With that owner who he's had an awful relationship with. That's fine, with and he came he, back he to him. He had an awful relationship with him. Exactly, came back to him, and in 2016, he delivered the, city of the first not championship. You're right, but still, he did come back, and he won a championship with him. We've seen this movie before. We've seen him in the, with the decision and him regretting ever having that big skeptical of a decision to be made to kind of leave his hometown. So I, with that, I think that plays still in the back of his mind. Cleveland is a great situation for LeBron James with these new additions and acquisitions. And to your point, Rob, there's no other place that really is inviting and, and worth the risk to make sure that, like, it's uh, all, we can almost safely say, and, and I said this yesterday, nothing's 100% guaranteed, it's like a 99% chance that LeBron James will be playing for the NBA Finals in, in content, competing for a championship if he continues to stay in Cleveland. Like, Every that, is, year, that yeah. is without question. And if he is trying to pass Michael Jordan, which you don't think he has the opportunity to do anymore, he, his best bet is to stay in Cleveland and work with what he has and work with the pick that they have and maybe take less money and try to do something. Take there. less money. I mean, oh, I wait a second. Take less well, money, hold on. But, 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 let, look, let me get, let me get one thing, Greg. Uh, Greg just said staying in Cleveland is his best chance to catch Michael Jordan. You don't think going to the premier franchise in NBA history, leading them out of the weeds with post-Kobe Bryant era and bringing them a championship, you don't think that would trump how about, getting another this, title? This, how about if he doesn't win? How about if he comes in and doesn't win? win. Let, me tell you, let me tell you why I don't think that's as in... It would be great if he felt like, man, if we can get the pieces there that can ensure that I'm going to possibly get there, yes. But when you think about... I, I love LeBron James, and I love what he does on the court. But personality, he he listens to everything. And he wa he does not want to fail. And he is not a fan of failing. Like, I don't think he would take it good if he comes out here and he doesn't get it done. Gets knocked out in the line. second round. I, I don't think that's that's not his... He wants to be in a position where he knows it's almost a guaranteed... Life. I mean, he left Cleveland for a guaranteed situation. Yeah. And it didn't work. And you see, to your point yesterday... He went back from playing the villain role to, I, I got to be me. Yeah. I got to do what I do. And he went back to Cleveland because, again, he, he felt a certain way about his, his departure. And so I got to make that right. I, he doesn't want to make that mistake again. And he doesn't just want to walk out the door and go into a worse situation and not end up in the finals when it was guaranteed that you were going to be there. And, when, and, and when as far we as won. catching Jordan, look, it's, it's somewhat, I wouldn't say long shot, but it, 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 that ship may have sailed. But if he has any chance of doing it, it would be to build something. Like that, even, even in Cleveland, you could say he already won the title there, but Ky, he had a big three, Kyrie and Kevin Love, in this big three era. If he won a championship with this cast of role players and Kevin Love against a big four from Golden State... All championships aren't created equal. You wouldn't take anything away from him if he won it with Paul George in L.A. or with Chris Paul and James Harden in Houston. But if he wins it with this group, beats Golden State, that would be huge. Just like his one championship in Cleveland is more impressive than the two he won in Miami. Absolutely. So that's something, that is something that might make people say Jordan couldn't have done that. Yeah, no, Jordan, Jordan tried. He went to the Washington Wizards and failed. He could not get to he the playoffs. He was 39. I get it. it. it, it I get that. Don't even bring that up. Don't even bring that up. Here's an angle. No, that's fair. He goes to LA to 34. That's not fair. Don't bring that up. How about this? Is this fair? LeBron now has how many houses here in L.A., Chris? Two. Two. Two? Okay. He's going into the movie industry now. House yeah, party he's really movie. struggling. Space Jam 2. He's not a 
Vogel Let's yet. Add right? it all up. He needs Holly, to come to LA it's to LA. be there, Come on. Everybody's come talking on. at the same time. Thank you for firing everybody up, Jason. Okay. We always appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.